Good morning, East Jackson. Today is Monday, December 6, 2021. Today's lunch menu, choice one, chicken casserole, choice two, Salisbury steak, choice three, PB&J, served with sweet peas, mashed potatoes, and fruit. Congratulations to our November Readers of the Month. In Miss Pratt's class, we have Jamarcus Wims. In Miss Langston's class, Riley Cisneros. In Miss Standridge, Beckett Riley. Miss Pierce, Javion Brown. In Miss Potts' class, Emilio. And in Miss Beadle's class, Harper. Our first grade readers of the month, the Miss Spears class, Aaliyah Cantrell. In Miss Harrison's class, Weston Perkins. In Miss Myler's class, Ruth Clark. Miss Richardson's class, Dresden McGill. And in Miss Sara's class, Esmeralda Romero Sanchez. Congrats to our second grade readers of the month, Kaylin Parker, Carlene Ernest, Zoe Jones, and Odarian Tarpkins. Our third grade readers of the month, Elisa Negrew, Westland Ingram, Brantley Bankston, and Gracie Hunter. Congrats to these fourth grade readers, Omari Jennings Daniel, Lil Ginn, Gage Towler, and Josie Beecham. Last but not least, congrats to these fifth grade readers, Riley Schuler, Cullen Butler, Mary Waters, and Keaton Schultz. Ms. Jameson and I can't wait to see you in the Media Center tomorrow during your lunch for your Reader of the Month lunch. Please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please remain standing for the East Jackson Pledge. We, the Eagles of East Jackson Elementary, pledge to respect and help each other, take care of our school, and be responsible for achieving our goals. Now for our moment of silence. How will you make the best of today? Okay, third through fifth graders, we have a new bean stack challenge for you guys to join. So for December 1st through December 31st, there is a reading reflections challenge. So when you log on, scroll down to the bottom and click on our new challenge to join it. So what we want you to do as the end of the year marks a wonderful time to reflect on all that you've experienced and learned over the past 12 months. Whether you're celebrating the holidays with friends and family or enjoying some quiet time alone, take a moment to cozy up with a good book and set an intention for the coming year. Log your reading to earn all of your badges. So for this challenge, if you click right here on badges, these are the different badges that you can earn for this challenge. So you can get your reading comfy pillow 60 minute challenge badge. You can get your forest badge for 121 or 120 minutes. You can get your fireplace for 180 minutes. 240 minutes, you get your mittens. 300 minutes, you get your winds of change. You get some cozy socks for reading 360 minutes. You can go all the way up to 600 minutes for this month, and you would earn your unicorn balance, uh, uh, challenge badge. So take a peek at our challenge for this month, our reading reflections, and we will see how many badges you earn this month. Good luck, readers. Don't forget to write those reviews as you finish a book. Congrats to our top 10 readers for the Fall in Love with Reading Bean Stack Challenge that ended at the end of November. Gracelyn Hunter is our overall winner with 1,677 minutes logged. J.C. Graves was a close second with 1,523. And Kincaid Kubasta, top three, 1,100 minutes read. Some of our other top 10, Grayson Nichols, Elisa Negru, John Jones, Jesse Bagley,
Ronnie Rodriguez Garfias, Michael Kale Crawley, and Owen Bouchard. As a school, we had over 60 students participate in third through fifth grade in our Beanstack Reading Challenge. And all together, those 60 kids read 14,665 minutes for the month of November. Wow! The students weren't the only ones recording their, their minutes reading. Our teachers also recorded. The top three were Miss Wooten, number one, with 1,183 minutes read, Miss Garner, 946 minutes, and Miss Morris, 846 minutes. But guess what? Out of those 15 teachers that we had sign up, those teachers read a total of 3,824 minutes. Do you know what that means? The students beat the teachers in the number of minutes read in our Beanstack Challenge for November. Teachers, what's up with that? Have a fantastic Thursday, Eagles.